Thanks for joining us today at CAD CAM Hacks. We've been getting a lot of questions about adding a base to our models for 3D printing, specifically with the new CEREC Prime Scan. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do it with the new CEREC 2.0 Ortho software. It's a very fast way to do it, and uh, I think you're really going to like the new feature within the software. So you can see here I have my scans. Now they're they're pretty clean. Something that's really important when we talk about 3D printing models is to make sure that we don't have any sort of flash or extra artifacting that's going to get in the way of, of us adding a nice crisp, uh, crisp clean model. Um, something I do see here is uh, some of this down here. You can see it's uh, kind of jagged not very clean line versus what we have out here is a nice crisp clean line that I cut. So what we want to do is we want to make this nice and even that way when we add our base it's a nice clean base that we're adding to the model. So all we do is we go into our cut tool, we're going to rotate the model around to where we want to cut and then if you never used a cut tool before you simply double click to start and then you single click to pin the line and we can take this line and bend it really any way that we want. And when you double click to finish, you'll see that the area that's in gray is the area that's going to be cut out. All I have to do is click this cut button and it automatically cuts it out. I'm just going to clean up this little area right here and then we're ready to add a base to this model. So again, the same process, double click to start, single click to pin the line. And you can see I bend my line away from the rest of the model. That way it's not cutting out any of the other model there. And you can see that little area is now ghosted. When I click cut, it simply goes away. Okay, so now we have a nice clean model here that we're ready to add a base to. So you can see the button down here in the, in the bottom says add base. We click on that. Now you have a couple different base options here. Uh, ABO is gonna be the one that most of you are probably gonna use, but you have a couple different options. Just play around with it and figure out which one that you like. But adding a base is as simple as taking these arrows, bringing the base down to connect with our model here. And the goal here is to try to make a small as base as possible. The smaller the base, just means the less uh, resin that we're gonna use in our 3D printing application. But uh, we also don't want it to be too small that we can't do anything with it. So that looks pretty good. If you click apply, you'll actually be able to see what your models look like as a finished product. So this is what they would look like after they are printed. Uh, if you wanted to get rid of some of this here, simply hit delete. We can go back in and uh, make some of these adjustments to our model. That looks like it's about as small as it's going to get uh, for this style. Now you can definitely try one of the other styles, see if you can get a little smaller, but overall I'm, I'm happy with that. So one last thing I do see here, we're gonna pull some of this in, that way, again, we're not using too much resin. Click apply, double check it, make sure we like how it looks. And now we're ready to print it. So in order to get this file over to your printer, you simply have to come up here to export. And you're going to want to choose the closed geometry STL file type. Not a regular STL. You want to make sure you choose the closed geometry. That will ensure that the base gets exported along with those models. So just click on uh, closed geometry STL, save it to uh, your location of choice, and you're ready to put it into your 3D printer. Thanks for joining us today. As always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions.